five times the Springboks smashed England Cape Town, with the first of three tests taking place on Saturday. We decided to embrace positivity and look at times they emerged as convincing winners against England. The Springboks and England have met times over the years, with South Africa winning of those, losing and drawing. Things have changed in recent years. However, and South Africa will arrive at Ellis Park this weekend coming off a disappointing loss to Wales and a disappointing two years under former coach Alistair Coetzee. The box have slipped to seventh in the world rankings, and a win over Eddie Jones's England on Saturday will go a long way towards convincing a concerned public that this team can get back on the right track. Here, we look at five memorable tests that saw the box give England a rugby lesson. Unfortunately, you have to go back ten years to find the last time the box really put England to the sword. On this day, Peter de Villiers' box ran in five tries through Danny Rousseau, Ruan Pinar, Adrian Jacobs, Hake Fori, and Brian Habana. This came at a time where Pinar was being backed as the Springbok fly half, and he left the match with a personal haul of 20 points. This was a great day for South African rugby as the box schooled the defending champions at the 2007 World Cup. England had no answer as J.P. Peterson went over for two tries to go with one from Juan Smith. This match set the standard for the box for the rest of the tournament. Things were a lot closer when the sides met at the same venue in the final, but the box still emerged as 15-6 winners to lift their second World Cup. In the build-up to the World Cup, the box were and punt. Jake White's men actually went into half-time 19-17 down in this one, but they bounced back strongly in the second half to run away with it. Brian Habana and Pierre Spies scored two tries each while Backies Bota, Chalk Berger, Ricky January and Percy Montgomery also scored. The very next weekend, the box ran in seven tries with Chalk Berger, Jean de Villiers, Brian Habana, two. Franz Steyn, C.J. Van der Lind and Ashwin Williams all scoring. Percy Montgomery, meanwhile, slotted all of his conversions and also landed three penalties. Nine players who played this match would go on to start the World Cup final that year. Who could forget this World Cup quarter final? Just van der West Huizen and Peter Russo score tries for the box. But this match will forever be remembered as the day that Janny de Beer kicked a record five drop goals. Everything he kicked turned to points that day, and while the box would go on to lose in their semi-finals to Australia, their win over England will go down as one of the great World Cup clashes.